Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Weasel and this is like the fifth time I record this game. I don't know what's going on today, but um, definitely something wrong. So I will, I will keep this short because I have the weirdest feeling that this is not recording at all again. I mean, I see it's recording. I, I can see my window saying, eh, recording. But I don't trust this too much. So let me quickly jump into the game, explain it. This game is called Stack Overload. It's made by Bonus Level, small indie developer. It's available on Desura. Um, made on the Monkey Engine. I never heard of the Monkey Engine before, but it's an awesome title. And you got a Insta Play mode and a Story mode, which is basically like the instant play mode, but with decrease, uh, increasing difficulty. So let's just jump right into a story mode, into a story mode. Um, I made the first level. So you're a program and you get you get a random number and this is your name for the game. I'm program 46, but no, I'm program, what am I? No, I'm program 46. And you got this weird AI talking to you, narrating the story, which is quite cool, actually. Um, I really like this theme going on and um, yeah let's start so this is the second level it's not that hard and you got your uh, stack over here and uh, the enemy got his stack over there and the goal of the game is to fill up his stack without filling up your stack if your stack is full you lose if his stack is full he loses them uh, he loses the round and he overflows overloads so if you're a programmer you probably get the stack overload references and this is actually a stack this is how stack works kind of and you got different kinds of memory cuts which do different things if you solve them like um, uh, push will um, add another block to the enemy and pop will I don't know what pop does I think it decreases uh, the amount of blocks you have so you can like restore your health something like that um, might be confusing at the beginning but it's um, Actually, quite interesting. Um, on, a, on a game design standpoint, it's a cool mechanic. Uh, cool mechanics thrown together uh, in a actually challenging game. Um, there's a li little bit of uh, luck going on, especially with little fields, because he's um, reshuffling the board all the time, and so you can actually the first one who makes the move is likely to mess up. So these games can take a while, especially if you got a another human player or a good AI and you're watching, uh, paying attention. And this can take some time because I need the push thingies. I need push so I can push some uh, things into his field. But program 82 is too... Ah, I pushed one in. Great. No, damn it. If he now gets a pop, he will now lose his um, stack again. One, one block of his stack. Ah, oh, god damn it. I want... I want the push. Oh, give me the push. Oh, give me push. Oh, he's stupid. He's more stupid than I am. And I'm really stupid. Oh, god damn it. Okay. What was this weasel? I mean, what? In all seriousness. Okay. Ha. Got it. Uh, I'm, I'm so close to winning this one. I'm so close to progressing. It's, it's fun. It's a very a small game. Very lightweight. And the music is really fitting. The... the Graphical style is minimalistic, but it's good. Um, there's some little effects going on, which uh, show you that there went some work in there. Actually, you see these little sparks? I don't know if you can see them. There's some little sparks because he's about to explode and everything is shaking. Ah, come on. So if you if you um, get a, 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 a get it right, you can ha you have another turn. And I just beaten program 82 and I can progress to the next level. Nice! Now someone can not calculate the root of 25.6. Haha. <laughs> okay, this the third program is a media player. Oh my god, I'm close closes. What? Okay, maybe this is now another um, thing. So there are many different blocks. Um, the pop block removes the block from the stack, as you've seen. The increment block increments the size of the stack, so you can put more blocks into your stack, which is actually like increasing your maximum health. Yeah, I think so. Um, push adds a block to the rival stack. Um, we've seen that. Decrements the size of the rival stack. Uh, 
decrease decrement does this so um, you decrease his health bar close closes the stack and saves from one put I think that's like a shield for one one block and they're bad blocks um, so the show block shows other blocks and changes the turn so the enemy knows where the blocks are um, just shows it very quickly and then it's his turn bad block swap is um, swaps the stacks which is actually a bad block if you got it and the enemy got more so if you got a full stack and you get a swap block now the enemy got all the blocks and you're good so um, let's um, go into the instant play mode where you can change how many kind of what kind of blocks you want um, and these blocks are even um, a little bit different they got lines on it so you can like combine a two line push and a one line push it has to be a two line push the memory grid is only five by four which is big enough you can decrease it and increase it as you want increase the stack size the maximum stack size and turn off and off bad blocks and change the difficulty of the AI so you can play against another human being in I and I um, you can play against the computer in I and AI and you can play let two AIs battle it out against each other which I will do now because I so much like this ladies and gentlemen welcome to the match of the century program 43 and program 43 what Oh my god, they're twins! Twins are fighting against each other! Oh my god, why why, are, why do they have the same program name? Anyway, so two programs are fighting it off against each other in this epic battle of unbelievable proportions. So, program 43 has a lead start on program 43 and program 43 now just changed the tides with getting a swap block and as you can see this game is actually quite difficult if you're playing against a hard AI. I don't know how it is against to play against another human being because I don't have one around and my cats refuse to play with me. So this is actually the hardest setting and if you enjoy these kinds of games and want to play a rage inducing games against a friend, check it out or just get it because it's fun and it's really well made. So. Thank you all for watching, my name is Weasel, if you liked this video please thumbs up and I will now let you watch out these two battle it out against each other. Thank you for watching, I'm Weasel, I'm out. Oh and I put the link down in the description, I don't know if I said that, probably did. Oh, and if you got some cool games you want me to play, just send me a message or post in the comment section below.